So, guys, this summer, while most of his teammates were on campus, campus preparing for the upcoming football season, Parker Smith was away focusing on his future career. So let's hear a little bit about that. I am here with Parker Smith. He is a PLU football player. He's a senior linebacker. Um, Parker, thanks for being with us today. What is your major? Uh, my major is business management uh, with concentration in human resources. Awesome. So what do you plan to do with that in your future? I know you're a senior, so it's kind of coming up here. What's what's your plan? Well, last summer I actually got the opportunity to do an internship um, with a distribution company called, it's called Cormark International, and they distribute like grocery, bakery items, anything you could think of inside of a convenience store. So convenience stores all across the country, we uh, distribute to them. And I spent some time in down in Texas and some, some time down in Portland, and, uh, and yeah, and I'm looking forward to hopefully with my major finishing and working for Cormark in, some, in one of these in, somewhere around the country, most likely in the Northwest. So how was that internship brought up? How did you get that opportunity? Um, I had an old family friend who kind of worked for Cormark. He still does. And he's like, man, you should look into some of these internship opportunities. You know, he'd been in my ear since before freshman year in college. And I was just kind of thinking about it, kind of not. And then it, it became time to look for stuff for this last summer. And I was, like, looking for other opportunities more closer to to the Seattle area, mm -hmm. and then I was like, yeah, well, I might as well give Cormark a shot, and I did the internship and uh, worked in Portland, and I loved it. Everything was awesome. Okay, so was most of the time spent in Portland or Texas? I know you mentioned Texas, and were those the main areas you were, and how much time were you spending in those places? So June, the start, at the beginning of June, I flew down to Texas, and I spent, what was it, four, five weeks down in Fort Worth at it was called. It was a management development program, so they take these in. I was with a group of five interns, and we go through this big, heavy. It was almost like a class, forty hours a week class of just like management skills, sales skills, overall like core mark skills, mm -hmm. and so that was the whole month we spent in Fort Worth, and then they fly us out to our respective divisions. Mine just happened to be in Portland, and so I spent the rest of the summer, uh, July and August, in Portland working through the Portland Division in Vancouver area all the way down to Eugene. And so what was your living experience like? Like, Were you staying in hotels? Or I know you're from Oregon, so did you get to see your family often? What was that like? It was a pretty hectic summer for the, for the most part. Living-wise, I was, like, a, like I said, five weeks in Fort Worth, so I was a lot of take-home dinners and then living out of a hotel. And... Um, no car out in Fort Worth, so it made things interesting and made my workouts for football interesting, but um, got those done and everything, and uh, I lived in, I have a couple, I have some family members that live in Portland, so it was just really unique that I got to, I got sent there, which was great, because then I stayed with my uncles and lived, lived with them in Beaverton when I worked in, out of the Clackamas Division, so that was kind of helpful. I saw my family down in Eugene a little bit when I worked down there, so... Mm -hmm. I was kind of strung out all over the place. We worked up in Tacoma for a little while through the Portland Division, so I was all over staying with whoever would let me stay with them. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so when you were in Texas, what were your relationships like with the other interns? Did you become close to them, or were you kind of isolated down there? Oh, man, it was, it was interesting. I, going, I had no clue how many were going to be, how many interns there were going to be. Mm -hmm. I get there, there's only, f I'm one of five. And two of them from Arizona, one of them's from Sacramento, one of them's from Phoenix. And I'm like, okay, I, I you know, and I was the only guy. And oh. so I'm like, oh, wow, this is, it was, it was different. It was different hanging out with four girls the whole, for the whole month. But it was, I had a blast. Got to know them really well. And they're all out. And a couple of them working out of the Vegas division. And a couple of them, one of them actually stayed in Fort Worth. And one of them works in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So... I kind of keep keep in contact with a little bit mm -hmm. because they're all starting. I was the there was two interns. I was one of the two interns, and there's three new hires. Okay. And so they're working currently out in Vegas and Minneapolis. So I'm trying to okay. keep in contact with them. Keep, see how it yeah. Is going, but. So hopefully in the future you can maybe mm -hmm. link up with them. Um, so four girls. Um, I guess you kind of already hit on the working out situation. You weren't able to work out with the guys here this summer, which mm -hmm. I know a lot of them were home kind of building that 
um, base for the football season. So what was that like working out wise? Did you have to work out in the hotel? Did you have any someone who motivated you? What was that like? Well, it was kind of tough when I made, I mean, that is such a big part of obviously for football, what we, and just the brotherhood of growing with growing friendships in the summer. And so I was kind of worried about not being around because the summer before I'd been working at PLU and built those relationships, worked out with all the guys and knew what, all the gains you get from that. So I was all excited about that, or, but I was also excited about doing this internship. So I was like, I have to make a compromise here. And so working out was, I was with my, I was by myself. And so I had Derek Chase and the rest of the senior guys. I, I told them before I left, I was like, keep me accountable, text me whenever you can, and make sure that I'm getting the workouts in. Mm-hmm. And so they helped me out. Everyone, it was kind of a double win. Everybody helped me out. So, um, yeah, and I was. Walk into the gym every morning with no car and get my workouts <laughs> in at 6 in the morning, so it was fun. Did you work out in the hotel, or did you have a gym membership? I had to go. I walked. So every morning before I go to work, I walked like a half mile down to a mall where there's a gym, and I got a gym <laughs> membership for a month that I worked out. Awesome. So That's awesome. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's great. Um, we're looking forward to watching you play Whitworth this weekend. What are your expectations for that game? It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, we just we put in so much work these past few past few weeks and have gotten so much better. So I'm really excited. We were we were watching the game film last, the other, just the other day and realized when we were playing Whitworth last year, we were like, wow, we are so much better this year than we were last year. So we're excited to go out and I mean, it's going to be a fun game. They're going to run all try to throw the ball all over us. So hopefully the defense can stop it. And, the offense has just been getting better every every game, so it's exciting to watch them play. Yeah, awesome. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Parker, and we look forward to watching you this weekend. Cool. Thanks, Lucy. All right, so that was a cool opportunity for Parker Smith to to kind of experience over the summer. It's, to get to go to different places as cool as is, but to but to learn things about a company that he has aspirations of, of working for in the future really is a cool thing for him. Yeah, it was really interesting to hear Parker and, and that whole interview process. Lacey, great job once again. Because I remember when um, my father, head coach Scott Westring, had all the seniors over for a taco feed at our house in Puyallup. And Parker sat down and kind of shared what his summer was going to look like because our summers looked very opposite from his. A lot of ours were, we're going to be working, but we're going to be you know, at, at, our, at our home in Parkland as well as Puyallup or wherever the case may be, Tacoma, and be able to work out at our normal gym at PLU be with the guys like Parker talked about a brotherhood but Parker was alone and uh, I remember texting him a couple times throughout the summer um, just encouraging him and it was cool because Parker and I have, have become a lot closer than, than ever you know before he was you know we just you know offensive side of the ball defensive side of the ball and so for us we were on the same breakaway team um, mm-hmm. heading into the season and so it was really really cool um, to talk to Parker this summer and know what he was going through but he knew we had his back, and again, that's what makes this PU football team so special, Lacey. You know, yeah. I thought the coolest part of that interview was the was the accountability portion of it. Um, <laughs> just like having all your having all of his buddies and all the teammates text him and stuff, and just be like, "Hey, are you getting your workout in? Make sure you're doing this. Make sure you're doing that." You know, I think that's really cool. I think that what is part of the culture that makes that football team so special. And I think, especially in football, I mean those those weightlifting workouts are very important um, on both sides of the ball, which. You, you can see it's paying off for Parker. He has 13 tackles and one sack in four games so far this season. Um, and we're excited to see what he's going to do against Whitworth this weekend.